Thank the member for Gilmore and call the member for Lyle. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I rise today to share my concerns, it being 10 weeks now until uh, this Prime Minister, Prime Minister Turnbull, and uh, his Treasurer, the, uh, the member for Cook, hand down uh, their first budget. 10 weeks, Deputy Speaker, 10 weeks to tell us that the cruel cuts to family tax benefit recipients will be off the table in this next budget. This family tax package hurts the electorate of Lawler more than any electorate in this country. There are 21,000 families, that is over a third of the families living in my community, who are recipients in family tax benefit. And there are significant numbers, significant numbers, a third of the families set to lose up to $4,700 a year from their incomes. These are savage cuts, Deputy Speaker, to families. The third of the families, imagine the impact that is going to have on our local economy as those families have their incomes reduced. I've said many times in this chamber that when it comes to change such as these, communities in the electorate of Lawler are hit the hardest. Unlike, unlike electorates like Wentworth and Warringah and Cook, the people in Lawler rely on family tax benefit to make ends meet across the year, Deputy Speaker. So there is 10 weeks until we get a new budget to see if there's any, any substantive change in the attitude of this Prime Minister as compared to the former Prime Minister. But we don't hold out much hope in law, the Deputy Speaker. In fact, we're quite despondent about this. Uh, and this, of course, was helped last night when John Howard told us that there's broad continuity between the Abbott and the Turnbull governments. In fact, he put it best when he said that there are obviously presentation differences. This is a critical concern for my electorate, a critical concern for the families who live in the electorate of Lawla, because they're worried that there are only presentation differences like the rest of us are. Because this Prime Minister's actions speak louder than his words. He has, is conducting a review of a safe schools program, an opt-in program that schools choose, choose to be involved in, that he's called for a review on that program. What he should be reviewing is the $80 billion cuts to schools and health. That's the issue that should be reviewed by this Prime Minister. But we have almost given up hope that there will be a sign of any substantive change. And of course, we've seen that. We've seen it with a GST uh, being looked at to be introduced, a 50% increase on a regressive tax that has now been backed away from, but we've got silence on negative gearing, we've got silence on retrospectivity, we've got that happening while Labor has 50 policies in the field, Deputy Speaker, 50 policies.